Carthage. Pathetic. Wei Yu arrives before the Roman commander and issues a challenge, only to be mocked by his enemy as an insignificant foreign warrior. But the commander's arrogance would soon be tempered by the grace of an eastern spearmaster. Is that all you have? The stone has been retrieved, and my end of the bargain fulfilled. That it has. And now for me to fulfill mine. Here. In these scrolls is everything you need to know about your disciples' circumstances. I trust you will find them most illuminating. There's a blade rolled up here as well. Another gift for your disciple. Consider it a token for your help. I promise you they will put this to good use. Thank you, Nistios. Truly. For everything. Having received the information he came to the West for, Wei Yu begins his voyage home, 
and we shift perspectives to the East to follow you, his disciple, as you follow up on a lead given to you by an informant and prepare to infiltrate Yongzhou Palace to reclaim a stolen treasure for the people. On the roofs of the palace, you and Chu Huan take note of the guards' movements. Chu Huan jokes about competing to see who can get to the treasure first and leaps down to begin the infiltration. I'll distract them. You take them out. There are far too many attendants for a supposedly empty palace. You're getting better at this. Quickly, get down. Stay in the shadows and wait for his approach. This is a good spot. Why don't you whistle to draw their attention? So, is the bet on? All right, all right. We'll decide on wearing it tonight. Fastest person to complete the mission and get out of the palace will win absolute seniority and respect for tonight.
you're fast, but you can't outrun me. Our informant is right. The treasure's in the bedchamber on the second floor. Making your way across the beams, you stumble upon a tense conversation between two men of high station. Zhao Gao, the Emperor's advisor, and Meng Tian, the Grand General. Curiously, they pass veiled threats between one another, hinting at discord within the upper echelons of the Empire. As their conversation heats up, however, the door to the bedchamber slides open, and the Emperor of China himself strides out. Both men humble themselves in front of the passing Emperor and follow him out of the room as he leaves. clear. What did our informant say about the treasure? She said it was a treasure stolen from a poor farmer. A corrupt of... On my honor as Yosha, I will return this treasure to the people. You still say that every time? Shh, I hear something. Follow me. Through the window. Hurry! Hold on. There are guards approaching. Don't let the imprinting! Keep searching. They can't have gotten... Keep searching. They can't have gotten far. Stay low. Keep to the shadows. The assassins are running away! I saw some movement. Just as you approach the gate, a group of Qin guards appear to block your escape. Standing back to back, you and Chu Huan prepare to fight the surrounding Qin guards when your other companion, Yu Ying, leaps from a low wall to create an opening for your escape. What would the two of you do without me? We were doing just fine, Ying. Ying Ying is right to be concerned. We didn't expect so many guards to turn up much less the Emperor himself. The Emperor? But Jingjing's intel is never wrong. I'll speak to her when we get back. Let's focus on getting home safe for now. So, 
Did someone win the title of seniority tonight? There was no clear winner. Although I probably would have won if things didn't go south. I'm not so sure about that. Well, if the two of you are still up for a challenge... Are you suggesting a race? I never said that. But we do need to get to the tower quickly. Say no more. We'll settle this tonight. The fastest climber wins. Is that the fastest you've got? Big talk for a slow guy. Let's see if you've been training your footwork. <laughs> this is nothing. Done this in so long. You'd best hang on tight. Up we go. There we go. This is easy. Steady now. Keep the pace. Giving up. <laughs> Looks like someone will be pouring wine for me tonight. How about double or nothing? First one back down wins superiority. And no cleaning duties for a month. <laughs> you just don't know when to admit you're beat, do you? You're on. If I climbed up that beam, I could use it to my advantage. I should take a good look before. 